Roger Yost. Chris, love your work and concept of critical thinking. Could you take a minute and explain COS concept of Xenu? When it is introduced to Scientologists, why the secrecy, and why Tommy David flat out denied it as a spokesperson for the church, I mean cult. Yeah, so Xenu is uh, part of the OT3, level OT3 materials, uh, which are all confidential. All the OT level materials are confidential. So basically what happens is, is a person goes through and does the Scientology levels of counseling. They're supposed to move through a series of uh, states of being. And those states of being are described first as as lower grades, you know, grade one, grade two, grade three, they go through those steps and they're supposed to achieve certain abilities until they finally achieve the state of clear. Now, again, uh, I don't necessarily believe that any of this stuff actually occurs, but that's, what's, that's what the parishioners are doing. That's what they, that they do is they go through the counseling. Everything above the state of clear is confidential. So it's, it's hidden away from the general public and they don't talk about it. The stated reason for that within the church is because the materials above the state of clear are highly dangerous to a person's mental and spiritual well-being and, and stability. The idea is that things have happened to people in the past that are so traumatic, so awful, so horrible, and are so emotionally charged and spiritually charged up that they would actually damage a person if he was exposed to it that material before he was ready for it. And these lower levels or these lower grades are supposed to be the things that get you ready for that. And so the the first thing you do when you have to you go clear is you you do anyway, I'm not gonna get into all the whole the whole steps, but there's there's an OT one step and then there's an OT two step and they're sort of preparatory steps for OT three. And OT three is where you get told that Earth is part of a galactic confederation of planets and that out there in the universe, you know, for trillions of years, there's been this big civilization out there and there's this old galactic overlord named Xenu who was a really bad guy and he gathered up, uh, you know, all the beings in the universe and I want to be actually clarify something because this is commonly missed or misstated uh, in, in things that I've read that, uh, you know, that, that there's all these aliens, that he gathered up all these aliens and sent them to Earth. It, it wasn't aliens. He, what he's referring to is um, uh, beings called Thetans in Scientology. Thetans are, are us. It's, you're a Thetan, I'm a Thetan, we're all Thetans. That's the idea in Scientology is that that your spiritual self is referred to as a word called a thetan. And the idea is that Xenu somehow collected up all these thetans and, and, and trapped them in uh, ice or something and uh, put them in uh, spaceships that look like DC-10s and flew them to Earth, which he calls Tegiak, and dumped them here in volcanoes and... Uh, you know, this all happened many, many moons ago. And uh, and then all these spiritual beings, these Thetans, not aliens, Thetans, uh, got so messed up through this whole process, right? They got so screwed up that some of them just about died. Now, you, you can't kill a spiritual being who has no age. So they just, you know, act as these, these, these uh, whole degraded beings. And so the theory goes that all these, these degraded beings have, have been latched onto uh, beings that are not so degraded, uh, which is you and me. And um, they make up, they actually physically make up our bodies. And they're therefore called body thetans or BTs. And if you ever read about BTs or body thetans, that's what he's referring to is these these practically dead spiritual entities or spiritual beings, which is, you know, me and thee, who uh, need to be rehabilitated. They need to be freed up from this awful, horrible spiritual state that they're in. And the only way to do that, of course, is to do this Scientology counseling. And so the belief within Scientology is that 
uh, that there are thousands and millions and millions of these spiritual entities who are in this awful condition. And by doing the OT3 procedure, the counseling procedure, which you do on yourself, you will free up, you will rehabilitate spiritually these practically dead uh, BTs, body fatens. And uh, by so doing that, you also free yourself because these things are latched onto you like a bunch of leeches, a bunch of spiritual leeches, and they're not quite fully dead and they affect how you, they're supposedly affect how you think and act and feel. Uh, you know, like, like if you had a bunch of leeches all over you, that would affect how you think and act and feel. <laughs> well, these BTs do that apparently. And so by ridding yourself of them, by doing these, these OT levels, uh, you know, you're supposed to become a free, freed up being yourself. Okay. So that's, that's basically in a nutshell how I understand that. So, uh, this is highly confidential within the church of Scientology. Now it's all over the internet, but within the church, this is the, the belief is, and what Hubbard said, he, he discovered all of this and released it all in 1967. And he said, when he talked about this, he said that this information is so powerful and so charged that if you found out about it, if you learned the truth of what I just told you, you would catch pneumonia and you would die. That's what would supposedly would happen to you. And people in the church believe that this is true. Uh, it, was, it was no small thing for me to, when I got out of the church, go and overcome that indoctrination and read about this material and, and find out what OT3 was all about outside of the church because I, I, uh, I didn't find out about it when I was in the church. I found out about it after I left. Uh, and you know, when you find out about it in the church, you are sworn to secrecy. Like you swear on a stack of Dianetics books and you are never, ever, ever, ever to reveal this on pain of spiritual death. Right. Uh, so that's why Tommy Davis, who I don't think even achieved this level himself. So I don't think he even really understands what he's talking about. But that's why when he, as a PR spokesperson, would come out and talk about this stuff, he would deny, 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 or try to redirect and misdirect and go off of that any way he could. Because according to his way of thinking and to the Scientologist's way of thinking, that material will kill you if you know about it. So they try to keep a lid on it to protect everybody. Like that's actually their idea is that they're trying to, to not let people know about this because if they think it'll, if it gets out, you know, people are going to die. So, um, now what amazes me, of course, is that there are OTs and there are people in the church who have achieved these levels, who know this material, who then see it on the internet and somehow are like not putting two and two together that this material doesn't kill anybody. I mean, it didn't kill me. It didn't even give me a cold. It didn't even give me a sniffle. Nothing. So no pneumonia here. And I, and I've had it verified by, you know, people who did the OT levels in the church that what I just told you is what's, what's covered on this stuff. So somehow they're not quite, you know, the, the doesn't, doesn't, doesn't bust through the cognitive dissonance that nobody's dying from this, you know, that, that 50 million people have read this on the internet and nobody's dead. So anyway, that's, why they're so insanely hush-hush about it, though, is because they think that, you know, if you find out, you're a goner. <laughs>